even know what is this hair. Please excuse my hair. I really need to do it, but I just don't know what I want to do with it. I think the last vlog that you saw, or last video that you saw, was a clothing haul. I'm doing these like three weeks in advance. So the date that I'm actually recording this is the 29th of January. So I think in three Mondays time, that's when you're going to see it. So I'm trying to make sense of this whole situation. So I'm assuming the last video that you saw was the three to six months clothing haul. Um, now I need to sort Lila's nursery out. I'll go and show you it in a minute, but I've literally just let it get on top of me. I've let the whole housework get on top of me this week and it's just been like a really crap week. I need to go through and sort all of her clothes out. I also want to change her changing mat station because I've got her an anti-roll mat. Not that we ever leave her there on her own anyway, but you just, you never know. So I've ordered her an anti-roll mat want to reorganize her drawers i've literally just been chucking stuff in her cot like if she's been growing out if i put something on her and i think oh it's too tight i've just been chucking it in her cot and think oh i'll sort that out later and i've changed the pram over from the lay down bit to the sit, sit up bit and i've just chucked that in the cot as well honestly like it's just a nightmare so lila started sleeping from nine till five however she slept till 10 to 6 this morning so but usually it's nine till five um and then she like kind of give or take half an hour so she kind of like goes down for her naps around about the same time so i'm just gonna write them down and see if i can do a pattern and then i can start planning my life a lot better because i just don't really know but talking of her routine and naps and stuff she is currently down for her nap now i'm not going to start her nursery until her second nap because it usually her first nap's usually not great she'll usually go down for like half an hour 45 minutes and she stirs quite a lot as well um so she went down about 15 minutes ago so yeah, I'm gonna go see, look, she's stirring. She does this quite a lot. And I thought it was either because she was overtired or undertired, but I've tried like pushing her naps 15 minutes either side and she's just the exact same. So I don't know whether it's just the first morning nap. She's not it's great It's just yet. an absolute bomb site. Like coming in here gives me issues. So I'll start off from the changing mat. That's a mess. That ring lights in here from a Q and A. A towel with pill on it, typical. That's just a state. That's pretty organised, really. I need to fix this and actually put it in properly because I didn't set it up right. And then I've got clothes under here, newborn clothes that I need to put away, and just random crap. And then there's this. Well, I mean, what even is this? She has a nap in sometimes. This is the lay down bit of the car. Oh, that's what I've been looking for. Her snowsuit. Um, the Moses basket and sit up and there's just clothes that I've just been shopping in here. My room just gives me issues, like serious issues. And this whole room, like even when it's clean, I don't know what, I don't know if it's like the chair or what. If you didn't know, I had a small nursing chair there, but we needed more room downstairs because our house is tiny. But we needed more room downstairs for Lila's toys and a playmat and stuff and this like big sofa thing was just too much like our actual sofa is like a four seater and then we had this snuggle sofa as well and for our living room it's just it's just too big so we don't want to get rid of it because it was quite expensive so we brought it up here and i just sit here and nurse lila in the middle of the night and sometimes throughout the day as well but this is just it's just made it like over stimulating i don't know if you guys get like that but when there's too much in one room or too much color in one room or too much going on i just get really like overwhelmed so that i mean that's even a mess she doesn't even use this anymore. She doesn't even use bright water anymore. That needs washing. I'm usually on top of things. I think this week, like, I've, I've been out of the house quite a lot. Like, I like getting out. But at the same time, I don't like getting out. I don't think I've had one day this week where I've not left the house to do something. Um, and everything then just gets on top of me. Oh, you want to see my washing pile? Let me show you my washing pile. This is currently the washing I've got going on now. I know it doesn't look that bad. Until you get to this washing pile. Now, this is just all clean clothes. Obviously, I've washed all Lila's clothes and I've just been, because I've had like nowhere to put them, I've just been like folding them and putting them in there. And it's also mixed with all my clothes and Luke's clothes and yeah, so I've also got that to sort, that's going to take me ages. Ugh, I don't even want to start it. Good morning. Hi. Hi, gorgeous. How are you this morning? Are you okay? Nap number two. So Lila went down at, what time did she go down? Quarter two, so literally like five minutes ago. So she went down at quarter to 11 and she had another feed. This has kind of turned into a bit of a day in the life. Um, I'm so out of breath. So she woke up, so she had a feed, I'm not even writing this down there. She had a feed at 10. So 
do 10 feed and then she went down at 10 45 so this awake window was kind of like an hour and 15 minutes um, which is usually what she does every day so this, this one's a little bit longer than the first one um so i don't know how long this night's going to be it's usually an hour again um so as, as long as i get the cock cleared that's all I want to focus, I don't want to try and do too much because I'll get myself annoyed that I've not finished it. Ew, excuse the towel that's currently got a pill on it, I need to wash that. Um, yeah, so I'm going to crack on. I just don't even know where to start. I feel like I'm just moving one, one stuff to one side of the room. And Lila's just woken up. Not, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna see if she can put herself back to sleep. Sometimes she can, so I'm gonna leave her to that for a minute. I just had to go. Well, I say resettle her. I didn't settle her. I just popped a dummy in. But the one thing I don't know if anybody else. Every time I go in, after she's woken up, I lean over. She starts smiling like this big beaming smile, and it makes me just want to pick her up and cuddle her. But I've got to be strict. So I just popped a dummy in, soothed her, and then walked away. This, this, I just want to pick her up and cuddle her, but I can't. So she's got her eyes wide open on the camera, so I don't think she'll settle herself again. I think I'll have to go in and settle her, but we'll see, we'll see. We're getting someone with the cot, finally. So I've just taken all the clothes out of it. Please excuse me, this cupboard, this is a different day. Um, I've put all of her clothes in there. So all of her newborn clothes are in there, and I've literally just put in a stage three months in a carrier bag for now because I haven't actually got another case to put them all in. And um, so I'm just going to order one of them, but for now they're just going to go in a bag. I'm just going to concentrate on this room, and that cupboard's a different day. So that's that cleared. And da -da -da, this is the state of the other side of the room. I feel like I've just moved like all the crap from one side of the room to the other, but in my head it's making sense. As you can see, I'm feeling very overwhelmed by this room. That's Lila down and reset the oh, I think I hear her moving again. I'm not even gonna like try to sugarcoat it. Trying to get things done whilst having like a baby is so hard. But you've also got to have the understanding as well as like just don't have too much expectation of yourself with your baby, like I'm gonna stay through. I'm probably not gonna get this done today, but that's okay. I've always got tomorrow and to get her cot done and all of her changing table and what time is it obviously yeah, it's 20 to 12. i did have to go resettle her but it's 20 to 12 which is really good and um, so this is the new changing mat just an anti-roll one we don't leave her on here anyway but you know you never know just in case and i've changed this instead of having all of um her nappy and stuff actually out on the table i thought it'd just be easier to have it all in here which just saves a lot of clutter as well so just got her nappies her wipes her under there, and then just a few bits that we use i've also got rid of that bear which had all of the stuff in um and now this is oh, i did this this what well, i didn't do this today but um this is all washed and ready to go this is three to six months so i've got um short sleeved bodysuits um long sleeved sleep suits and long sleeve bodysuits and then in here 
We've, I've got rid of quite a lot of stuff. So this is where her hats will be. She'll only have a couple of hats because she doesn't really wear them. These are her bows just in case one day she decides to actually like them. Just a couple of pairs of white tights um, and socks and bibs. But then she's also going to have, you know, those... Um, well, it's like the bandana ones to go with her outfits and that and the rest of the muslin cloths, but they need washing. I think the wash is just really fine. I am out of breath, but... So this side of the room is actually looking really good. And then you turn around to this side of the room and it's an absolute state. But I feel like we're going to get all this room done today. Um, obviously not in this nap time. She'll probably have... She'll probably wake up in about 20 minutes. Um, and then she'll probably wait for a little bit longer, maybe an hour and a half to two hours. Seba? Why is it not fixed? Seba baby? It's actually from Amazon. And I think it was only like £25. It's one of the cheapest ones. And I didn't want to spend loads of money on something that she's just going to peel me on. Um, so yeah. Good morning, chicken. Good morning. Hi. No, you're not very impressed, are you? Do you like you need to change your mat? It's comfy, isn't it? You're such a big girl. You're so big. Yes. Lila woke up exactly an hour, so she went, she fell asleep at quarter to 11, she woke up at quarter to 12, so bang on an hour. Um, so we'll see how long your awake window is now. This is the state of the room, so really, really happy with this and this side and that. Now it's just this side of the room, which I think I can get cleared up um, in the next awake window. And then I need to move on to the wardrobe. The wardrobe's going to take the longest. I need to clear her for now and then I need to hang everything, all her new clothes are just folded up in a basket. Um, don't worry, I am still here with Lila. Um, all folded up in a basket so I need to go through all that and there's even my Luke's washing that I need to sort but I want to get Lila's all hung up and sorted in there. And then we are done. We are done. And someone's excited. <coughs> Who is it? You love this play mat, don't you? You love this play mat. Yeah. Miss, go out to your pants. She currently has her eyes wide open, so I don't think this is going to last long. But and it, I'm sorry for the poor camera quality, but you're just on top of my sterilizer. I collected some milk when she was having her last feed. She had quite a good feed the last feed. She was on for about 15 20 minutes. I think that's about two and a half ounces. Uh, I'm gonna go I have to go sell her again. I think it's so so windy where I don't know if you can hear it. It's like the windiest that I've probably ever known it. It literally sounds like the house falling down. Um so I think that keeps waking her up. Which I don't blame her because it'll wake me up to do. Ta da! And I finished. I said well, I finished clearing up the nursery area. I feel so much better. I feel so much relieved. I just feel so just so much better. But now, onto the clothes. This is going to be the worst bit. I've always zoomed in on my face. Nope, I'm zooming in. I'm zooming out. So all this, except from I think those two, because I think they're up to four months. All this doesn't. Oh, that fits her. Doesn't fit her anymore. And this is her wardrobe now. So I've cleared everything out that doesn't fit her anymore. You got the blankets all her sorted out moved everything that does fit her from down there and put them up here and these are all like her snow suits and her coats. I have yet to sort out all of her I close that way too loud. Um sort out all of her clothes downstairs and washing up washing pile so I've still got all that sort out. And this is everything that doesn't fit her anymore. To be fair, she has worn all of this. I don't think there's anything in here that she's not worn and she's worn it multiple times, so I don't feel like it was excessive, if you get what I mean. She was in zero to three months for three months, so I feel like that's a decent amount of clothes for three months. I'm trying to make myself feel, feel better about how buying her too many clothes, aren't I? when the last time I updated you was, but Lila woke up at 10 to 2, didn't you? Wait, is it 10 to 2 or 10 to 1? What hour are we on? She woke up at 10 to 2, so she woke up about 20 minutes ago. 
And I've managed to sort, sorry about my foot. I managed to sort all these out. So put all these in coat hangers. This is all her old stuff that I need to put away. These are all her bibs, socks, and just odd bits. And that's all mine and Luke's um, washing. I managed to do that. So literally all I need to do is go put them in her wardrobe upstairs. Yes, sort mine and Luke's washing out. And then I'm done. I'm actually done. And this Lila has been so happy, haven't you? You've been so, so happy. Yeah. Hey guys, it is a lot later on. Please wake up. Um, Lila has literally just stopped screaming, only just stopped screaming. After screaming for about an hour, hour and a half. I'm sorry about the lighting. It's, re it's really dark and I can't go turn the uh, lamp on. Um, I think she's just like struggling with tummy ache. I'm not really quite sure, but yeah, literally she was just screaming for the past hour, hour and a half. So I'm currently in a nap trap. Um, I did manage to get everything done that I wanted to get done, but it's now it's time. It's now 20 to five and I've been trying to get Lara settled since like three o'clock. So it's been a day, what a bloody day. But I'm gonna end it here because I'm knackered now. Lila's obviously struggling a little bit. Um, but yeah, so that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell. And follow me down here on Instagram and TikTok. And I will see you next time. Bye from us.